This is one sexy Ferrari. The Ferrari Daytona SP3 is just fantastic. They've done something iconic. Looking at the Icona Serious Cars. The Daytona SP3, like the Monza SP1 and SP2. Limited production, yes. Unique technical innovations, and yes, it costs a heck of a lot of money. Two million and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, folks. Can you dig this? A masterpiece, inspired by Ferrari's successes and races. And while the Italian automaker can easily have made one model from his illustrious, beautiful past and reinterpreted the design and made something awesome, as Lamborghini did with the uh, Countach. Yes, they did something differently here. They have built something awesome, folks. And let's talk about this baby. Now there are these design elements in this do nothing but capture the attention of anyone that loves Ferraris. They haven't forgotten the things that we love. And I used to love Miami Vice. And I used to love the Testarossa. And this just screams it. Look at that expensive grill. Complemented by those straight side intakes. You smooth the airflow from the wheels. They designed to clean the air running down the side of the car, which makes this awesome. And the headlights feature retractable eyelids. The pop, remember the pop-up headlights of old? I don't know if you guys remember those. Those headlights were awesome. They were fantastic. It used to be on the Trans Am. It was fantastic, folks. But here it's designed to improve aerodynamics. The vents in the hood improve visual width. The front wings, those intakes, those front doors, those mirrors. Just awesome, folks. This brings clean air, those front mirrors. Everything assists to bring those, that clean air to the radiators. And the shape and the profile improves on the airflow. This baby's going to be planted to the ground, folks. Especially with that integrated uh, spoiler. I mean, look look at this. It's just epic, folks. Look at that back end. Look at the spoilers coming out the side. Wow, that princy horse is just so, so sexy. On the turkey top of the roof has been designed a smooth airflow toward the engine cover. The roof panel is in a place or not. That's how fantastic it looks. Wow. It's enjoyable. A grand tour in a supercar all in one, folks. Muscular rear arches. Extended spoiler. The vents. The diffuser. The double diffuser. They all work together to create nothing but low pressure. Now, I used to look at Ferraris. And I used to look at... You go to their website and you see the engineering that they put inside of this. That they even make... Um, even the bottom of the car is made to make sure that the car stays planted. The shapes, everything is effectively made to manage heat extraction, clean the airflow around the vehicle, and make driving at high speed <laughs> something supremely enjoyable and, yes, stable. The high-mounted double exhaust and the lover's fins. They all serve a purpose. This is a clever arrow. And whatever it does, it helps the air keep this vehicle planted. And that's what's fantastic about it. And that's the whole reason why they bring up that exhaust. And that's the whole reason of the design. Is how they use it. And I think I learned that in the 918 Porsche. It's when that exhaust is up high. It just does something to that. What they call the, uh, the, vent the ventrifical uh, uh, forces that come off the back of it. It just does something and it helps. It just stays planted. Planted, folks. Now in the interior. Carbon fiber. It reminds you of the Lafari Aperta. The carbon tub is an anchor point. Fixed seats. 
stuck on cushions that mold these cushions to exact measurements to the buyer so you get measured like you get an Italian suit. Fantastic, folks. This is what, what an awesome, fantastic vehicle. Fari has been showing off its love also for the interior and for the technology and the screens, the the cabin, the elegant approach. The res- that was just awesome, folks. I mean, we love the exterior, but look at this interior and look at those lights with the just a and look at that engine cover wow over two million dollars folks and yes this interior is epic that back light is just wow what a fantastic car just epic all the designs from the gas cap everything is just a showstopper the powertrain and the performance, the naturally aspirated V12. <laughs> Man. Wow. A work of art, folks. The V12 that can rev all the way up to 9,500 RPMs. 65 degree uh, 12 cylinder generates 829 horsepower. 0 to 62 in 2.85 seconds. A scream in 2.85 seconds. 0 to 124, 7.4 seconds. Nobody's going to be able to keep up with you. Not unless they're driving a model, a Tesla Model S Plaid. They might be in front of you. You might see their taillights. But hey, this is internal combustion engines, baby. And this is fantastic, folks. What an awesome machine this is. Now, thanks to the, um, the fact that the LaFerrari hybrid system, the dry weight is capped down to 3,273 pounds. Which means this is just fantastic, folks. This baby has electrified assistance. Which means there's going to be no, no, no lag whatsoever. What an awesome machine. A naturally aspirated beast. Wow. The experience in this is just going to be epic, folks. The numbers and everything about it. (laughs) This baby's going to be a showstopper. And not only that, but it's going to appreciate in value as the years go by. Are there any rivals for this? I don't think so. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. If there's any rivals for this beautiful, beautiful Ferrari. And yes. A fantastic, the 2022 Ferrari Daytona SP3. Hey, Automotive Reviews. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day.